Do you believe in magic? Hey Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director Love. You know, the Power Director Love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Magic Fix in Power Director 16. So, let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's fix some stuff using magic. Magic Fix is a tool that allows you to remove red eye from images, fix your blurry images, and fix your shaky handheld video footage. Now, this is a great tool that will allow you to beautify some ugliness that's going on in your videos. So I'm going to show you just how to get it done. As you can see, I have some clips on my timeline and I have a video clip of some shaky footage. And then I have some images with some red eye and some blurry stuff going on that I'm going to show you guys how to fix. Now, based on the clip that you select, when you select magic fix, you will have different options. So I'm going to show you what that's all about. I'm going to start off here with this video clip. So I'm going to left click on it to select it. And then I'm going to click on the magic tool icon. And then I'm going to click on magic fix. So it opens up the magic fix options that you get for a video. Now, the first thing I want to do is just play this clip to show you the shakiness that is going on that we don't want to see. Oh my goodness. Did somebody punch the cameraman when that was real shaky at the beginning there. Now we want to fix that, right? There's a little bit of shake going on with the pan. It's not too pretty. All right, we're going to beautify things here. So I'm going to move my playhead back to the beginning. And now if I look here under the fix option, there's an option called video stabilizer. So I'm going to click on this little box here to activate the video stabilizer. And it automatically applies it at a 50. So I'm going to play this back to see how it looks. Looks a lot better. Nobody was pushing or punching the cameraman at the beginning. It didn't jump all over the place. The pan looks a lot smoother. I like it. But if you needed to stabilize it more, there's some options here that you can choose. The first is that you can increase the amount of stabilization that you add by clicking on the plus or clicking on the minus and making the stabilization less. You can also just type in a number or you can use these arrows here to move the stabilization up or down. Now you also have some options here beneath that. So the first one is fix rotational camera shake. So if you have any rotational camera shake that you need to fix, check that box. And then there's an option here for use enhanced stabilizer. So if you check that, it'll activate the enhanced stabilizer. It'll also activate the rotational camera shake. You see that they're both selected now. This will help to stabilize your video, but it also uses a lot more computing power. You might notice that your, uh, your preview speeds go down, your renders take longer, things like that. Basically, there's a few things you can do. You can turn on non real time preview to help speed things up. But if you do that, remember it'll mute your audio. So keep that in mind. Also, you can change your preview resolution, things like that. But those are some of the trade-offs that you get for using the enhanced stabilizer. I'm going to turn that off. And so that's it for video stabilizer. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Close this out. All right, next, I'm going to go to this image here. So this is a blurry photo. It's old school. Old school rules, baby. And, oh, who's that in the middle? That's your boy. That's right, that's me in the middle doing my thing as a little wee one back in the day. My brother is over there to the left. Don't know who that is to the right. Don't really care. But it's really all about me right now, okay? It is all about some Malik. I want to take the blur out of this or decrease the amount of blur. This is an old picture. I want to sharpen things up a little bit. 
So I'm going to left click on this photo to select it. I'm going to go to Magic Tools. And I'm going to go to Magic Fix. Now under the Fix option, there's an option called Apply Refocus. So I'm going to click on that. And right now it is at a one, so we can't really see too much of a difference. But if I increase this, you see that the image becomes a lot sharper and less blurry. So let's just do a before and after here. I'm going to uncheck this. That's before. You can just look. It, do you have vertigo now? It's like, what happened? Okay, now it's a lot sharper. Refocus. Look. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that really takes some of the blur out of the photo. Looks really nice. It's been beautified. Thanks, Magic Fix. So I'm gonna turn this off here. Close that out. And now we have my little man. What's up, my little man? That's my little man back in the day. He is much bigger than that now. It is cray cray how this fool done grew up. But he has some red eye in this photo, and I want to remove that red eye. So I'm going to left click on this to select my son's picture. I'm going to click on Magic Tools. And I'm going to go to Magic Fix. So now there's an option on here for removing red eye. So I'm going to click on that. And bam, red eyes gone automatically. Brother is looking less evil as we speak. That was a little evil red eyed baby. Look at this little, look at that little evil red eyed baby. Get rid of that evilness. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a great feature when it works. I've had some photos that I tried to remove the red eye and it didn't do anything. Then I had some where it removed the red eye and put too much black on different parts of the image. For example, if I go to this image here, you can see me at my bachelor's graduation. Look at them cords and them things I got on and all type. Girl, I'm representing, representing with the smartness. But anyway, if I try to remove red eye here, you see that left eye is red. I'm going to click on this. It removed the red eye and added stuff to my nose and my, my cheekbones and it looked crazy. So keep in mind, red eye removal doesn't always work like it's supposed to. I'm just letting you know that I don't know how to fix that because this is just the automatic application of red eye. Nothing more that you can do except check the box, right? So keep in mind, it may not always work like you want, but when it does work like it does on this image, it does a fantastic job. And that's it, people. Magic facts. All right, Power Director Peeps. I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Team Bernadette Bass Fishing. If you haven't guessed it by now, Team Bernadette Bass Fishing makes videos about bass fishing that's right so if you're into bass fishing go to her channel all right check it out watch a couple of her videos if you're feeling what they're dealing over there on team bernadette's bass fishing make sure that you lock it down and subscribe if you want to receive a shout out like team bernadette bass fishing did make sure that you head over to the video description and fill out the shout out request form if you would like us to create a specific tutorial, head over to the video description and complete the tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any questions, comments, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button and after you do click on the bell when you click the bell you receive notifications every time i upload content to youtube and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun thanks for watching we'll see you again soon